So I'm going to roll this and I'm just going to tell you the story over. So here you can see we've got Target 54 starting to enter the channel. He's not a problem, now he's a problem. You can see the risk visualizer capsule start to come in. And we will, as he progresses, the, the pretty soon you're going to see an alert up at the top that the, the AI avoidance route needs to start calculating that route. It isn't found yet because of maybe he's moving slow or I'm not moving at all. But over time, what you're going to see is the avoidance route will start calculating, and it's not going to send us where we can't go. This is shallow over here, so it's not going to provide me with a solution to my port side, but boom, there's my avoidance route that is going to steer me around him. But as I said before, this is a very dynamic process. You're taking GPS speed, my GPS speed, my radar, his GPS speed, his course over ground. So you're going to see that avoidance route start to resolve. As he turns the corner around the channel, he's, he's cornered the buoy. Now we see that avoidance route start to shrink. But here's where we're going to mess with him. We're actually going to turn at him. And as we turn at him, he now presents a stand on target because we are overtaking him. And as soon as that happens, risk visualizer goes red. So again, th there's a lot of alphabet soup that's involved with uh, with ARPA, right? There's ARPA, there's TT, there's CPA, TCPA. There's a lot of math that you have to do, that you used to have to do in your head. We made it easy initially with our ARPA and very simple target target symbology. Now we've made it even easier with risk visualizer doing the work for you.